Welcome back to Post Time. Today I showed you some of my favorite moments from the past year, but there were so many more. So let's roll the highlights tape. When it came to having fun on Post Time, we couldn't have had any more in 2004. The show was jam packed with educational and entertaining features throughout the year. First, for the education. I got to put on my scrubs and be Dr. Heather for the day when I covered an endoscopic surgery. And we got to find out how a freeze can also be a fire. We also got a first-hand glimpse on how a harness is made. And didn't you always wonder who's up in that tower? I always did. And I found out what the Rapunzel of Dover Downs does in that little house in the sky. We got a history lesson on how our first state racing became almost extinct to how it's now a major league sport on the East Coast. It sure doesn't hurt having a few harness racing fans in some influential places either. The future of racing is looking bright. And not only did we show you the action from the Harness Racing Youth League Camp that's hosted by Harrington Raceway, but some parents took an active role in promoting the sport to their kids' friends. Like when Janet Davis had a huge group from the Hartley Elementary School to her farm for a field trip. And when Joe Hunderfunt took a couple standardbreds to his son's school for, yes, you guessed it, show and tell. This past year, I had a great time getting to know the drivers and trainers, even if not all of them wanted to get to know me. Uh, I'm shooting you. What are you doing? Why is that? Because you never want to be on the show. During my interview with Roger Plant Jr. about a couple of the mega famous owners he's trained horses for, I know you'll never believe this, but I got really confused. What's the other show with LA the skinny Law? lady? Not L.A. Law. No, the other one. You yeah, know, the, the Law show with the, with the real skinny lady in it. Oh, Allie McBeal is a skinny one, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, it. the Law show. As always, I got acquainted with a lot of horses. We met one equine who definitely lived up to his name, Pacific Cyclops, the one-eyed horse with the big heart. And we met another who seemed to be a little confused about which animal he was supposed to be. Plus, we gave you the story of three men and a baby named Scoop Al. And we found out who the Tom Selleck of the group was. I'm the Tom Selleck. I definitely do, you know, I do everything for her. When it came to interesting harness horses from around the country, we had them covered too. How about when John Campbell guided a trotter through the New York Port Authority during rush hour? And you wouldn't believe the talents of our Delmarva horsemen on and off the racetrack, like Steve Warrington, who was right on key when he showed you the world premiere of his music video, Second Right There. Well, second right there, I don't feel sad, especially when things been going so bad. Not only did we find out that Stevie is a great singer, but we also found out that Les Given's hidden talent is dancing. We saw Bobby Clark make a fantastic Santa Claus. Merry Christmas and ho, ho, ho! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and check out trainer D.W. Kamak. I bet my truck that horse ain't gonna be back in this barn. What can I say? Look out, Tom Hanks. And did you know that Matt Sparacino is a fashion entrepreneur? So I have my own line of clothing. This is Sparacino. You're getting your first look at it right now. Okay, so that's a joke, but he is a heck of a publicity director. Speaking of Matt, once again, he did a killer job putting together the half an hour post time live show, which aired on Fair Day. The ladies were out in full force this year. We found out that even though trainer driver Leah Vandervoort has to be tough to compete against those guys, she's a red-blooded American woman. And of course we always like it when it has Brad Pitt in there. <laughs> we got personal with my favorite leading lady of the sport, Joanne Looney King, or as I like to call her, Mommy, who also took on the boys in her days on the track. 
we found out that Rose's best is probably the hardest working single mom in the biz. Raising a kid, trying to get pregnant again, and still going out and winning races. It was goodbye bridles and hello babies from my classy lass, star of the future, who retired and is now a mommy at Winback Farm. No, she wasn't a world champion or even a track record holder for that matter, but she was all heart and deserved to be sent out in style with a big party. Speaking of retired horses, the horse men came together for the Rickshaw Rumble to raise money for Horse Lovers United, an organization that helps standardbreds who can no longer compete. Of course, everyone's favorite color this year was blue. More specifically, rainbow blue. We saw her at the Meadowlands where, by the way, we also did Brenda Teak's hair. We honored the world champion when she had her very own night at Harrington Raceway. We squeezed into the most crowded winter circle ever in Dover Downs history with rainbow blue. And we even voted for her for president. Why do you think Rainbow Blue should be president? Rainbow Blue comes from a good background. She's had a good education. She knows how to stand on her own four feet. She's independent, she's strong, and she's a woman. What I'm so proud about this year is that we hit another major milestone. 300 episodes. Of course, we threw a party and lots of celebrities couldn't wait to wish us well. Congratulations for 300. Not many people make it that far along. Everyone's been exciting and interesting and we're wishing you many, many, many more. I thought I was the only governor who was here today. Anyway, congratulations, Heather Vitale, on your 200th episode. What? 300th episode. Congratulations. Hey, this is Britney Spears. I just want to give a shout out to my best girlfriend, Heather Vitale. You are so cool. I want to be just like you. Way to go on 300 episodes. This is Michael Jackson. I just want to say congratulations to a girl that has the nose I've always wanted. And hers only cost $5,000. Keep up the good work. But probably one of the most talked about shows ever was the day Vic Kirby told us why kids should stay in school. We came out with a degree in communications and uh, now I'm shoveling manure and driving horses still. <laughs> and then we went toe to toe on the basketball court in a fiercely competitive down to the wire battle of horse. I'll see you later, player. Now that's what I call being a good sport, and it's because of everyone in harness racing who's been willing to have fun over the past six and a half years that I've been able to give you what I believe is the best standard bread show in the world. Thanks so much for another awesome season.